hello guys welcome to another video of circuit digest in this video i'll show you how you can build your own function generator using arduino so as you can see we have here we have our setup here with the arduino nano and it is currently in working state and we have connected it to our oscilloscope as you can see the first probe is connected to pin 1 and the second probe is connected to pin 2 and the first probe gives us a square wave and the second probe gives us a sine wave the frequency of the square wave can be adjusted right now the frequency of the square wave is 100 hertz you can adjust the frequency by pressing on this button so let me go ahead and show the features of this in this video and you as usual you can find the circuit diagram and code for this project in the link given in the description of the video now i'll change the setup and show you how the frequency of the pwm signal varies as we vary it using a rotary encoder now i have changed the setup to work only with uh, the pwm frequency that is i have removed the second probe let me restart it so that you will get an idea how it looks like when you boot the system now once you restart it you will be given an introductory message and then you will have this screen and as you can see right now there is no signal out of the pin you can change, set the frequency you can increase it either by one just rotate it and it will increase by one or if you want to go with higher values just press it once and you can increase it by 10 or by 100 or even by 1000 so the maximum is 2 megahertz now let's increase it by 10 for demonstration purpose and let's set like uh, let us go back to 1 Okay, now we have set 20 hertz frequency and if you take a look at our oscilloscope it gives us a PWM signal and I have turned on the measurement mode and it also measures it to be 20 hertz. So let's check it. Let's increase the value. I will increase it by 10 again. I will make it 30. Now as you can see it's 30 here and the frequency of a PWM signal has also changed to be 30. So similarly you can set whatever frequency you want let us try a higher number like 230 and as you can see the frequency is currently 230 let me change the time division okay here we go and it measures it to be 230 now to show you the sine wave i have changed the probe again to the second pin Similarly, let's set a frequency. I will increase it by 10. Let's put it at 10 and you can see the sine wave being generated. So this is not a proper sine wave and the uses for this is quite less but still you can learn how to generate a sine wave and uh, let's increase the frequency 40 and you can see the frequency of a sine wave is getting changed there also. So that's it guys, this is how the project works, uh, as usual you can find the circuit diagram and the code for this project at the link given in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.